Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a controversial topic. To some, this will be old hat, but to others, you might learn something new today. Today we unlock the meaning of the FS stamp on the GT bikes, its origin and what it means to the community. If you're easily antagonized, you might want to end the video here. Let's start by addressing the elephant in the room. What the FS stamp actually means is freestyle, period. You're more than welcome to think differently, but you're just plain wrong. The serial number, people say about the FS. Some people say it means freestyle. Some people say it's fuel or series. Ah, That's it another. is actually the freestyle series, freestyle. Right. So it's a freestyle bike. Um, now, I could do an entire video or a series of videos on deciphering the GT serial numbers, but for the most part, and this is 99.9% .9 of the time, if your serial number is on the rear dropout and is all numerical, then it was made in the USA. If your serial number contains any letters besides GT, then it was made in the Orient. There's plenty of evidence to support this fact from sources that worked at GT in the 80s and into the 90s. In addition, there have been several serial number registry and decoders on BMX websites like the BMX Museum. I'll leave a link to that so you guys can check that out. So when did the FS start? As early as 1984, GT started stamping the frames to differentiate them from other types of frames. This was mainly for the bike shops and distributors, but also for the riders as well. See, before the Performer came out, which by the way, was designed in part by Eddie Fiola and Bob Morales, Riders like Eddie would use racing bikes such as the Mach 1 and the Interceptor to perform the freestyle tricks on. As GT introduced more models into their lineup, they also made new abbreviations. And these names were used to identify the frame sets, like I for Interceptor or MI for Mach 1. You'll find many more abbreviations for other types of frames, and FS simply means freestyle. Just like A represents aggressor, and so on and so forth. Now, there are also factory errors. Quality control was just not super tight back in the day. So it's possible you would have an FS stamp on your Pro Series. It doesn't mean that it's a freestyle bike. It just means that somebody grabbed the wrong dropout when they were welding it. Now, I bet you're going to ask, why do some have the stamps and some do not? Does the stamp mean it's more valuable or desirable? Well, the simple answer is... They should have all been stamped with their model abbreviation from what we gather from interviews with Gary Turner. For reasons that are not totally understood but assumed, it just didn't happen. The most likely explanation is for each year they didn't exactly know how many of each model they would be making, so they stamped some and others didn't get it because the dropouts were shared between the racing bike and the freestyle bikes. Now this theory makes sense. Since the serial numbers are always end with a production sequence, they would have been stacked up in boxes for the welders to work their magic. Obviously, if you have a pro performer or a pro freestyle tour that is not stamped FS, it doesn't necessarily mean it's not freestyle. Let's just get past that because I can hear the keyboard warriors typing away already. Is it more desirable or valuable to have the FS stamp? Ah, here's where the controversy begins. Originally, many BMX enthusiasts and collectors hypothesized that the FS stamp meant the frame set was made in the USA, in Gary Turner's hands, by his own welding. Uh, and those missing the FS stamp were made in the Orient. We know this to not be true at all. Remember, if your serial number has letters in it like GH, DS, or KS, etc., etc., then it was made in the Orient, sometimes in Japan, sometimes in Taiwan. The serial number registry on the BMX Museum is a great place to find info on your serial numbers as they all vary and they're very different from one another. Then it happened. Gary Turner was presented with the question, what does the FS stamp mean on the 1987 PFT? And here we go. So here's the video. I'll let you watch it. And of course, his response. Now, the audio is horrible here, but what he said, the synopsis being FS meant freestyle and made overseas. Thank you. 
Okay, trigger alert is going off. I'll give you my opinion on all this, and oh boy, I know you will as well. So comment below in the comment section. First of all, we showed proof before that FS is being stamped as far back as 1984. And in 1984, GT was only producing bikes from Santa Ana, California. Although there were some variants made in the UK, but this doesn't really count towards the part of this argument. In 1985, GT started having frames manufactured in Japan and then Taiwan as early as 1986. This was in addition to the USA made frames. Generally speaking, the low end frames like the Mach 1, the Interceptor, the Vertigo, the Performers were made in the Orient, while the higher end top shelf bikes like the Pro Performer, the Pro Freestyle Tour, of course the T model, the Pro Series, the T models, the Dino Pro Comps, etc., were all made in the USA. Remember, we know for a fact that all numerical serial numbers, including those that start with the letters GT, were made in the USA. If there are any letters in the serial, like DS or N or KG or YC, AC, FY, any of that, or there's a baseball stamp, it is foreign made. Then referencing Gary Turner's statement, knowing that there are USA made frames in 1984 with FS stamps in it, well, then it nullifies what Gary said, unless, of course, you apply it specifically to 1987. And that's where everything gets real tricky. Now, between mountain bikes and freestyle, race, hybrids and zoot scoots and a variety of other GT brands at the time, including Robinson and Dino and Auburn and Powerlight, the list goes on and on. GT was very busy making hundreds of thousands of bikes every year. So it kind of stands to reason that maybe some of this was made in the Orient. There is a large possibility that some of the frames were made in the Orient and FS stamped, but then everything we know and understand about the serial number system has to be thrown out the window. Besides that, GT was very adamant that the full 4130 Chromoly Pro Performers and Pro Freestyle Tours and the Dino Pro Comps were all made in the USA. They stickered the frames that way. Even early to late 90 GT Pro Freestyle Tours were made in the USA. But some of the lower tier bikes only said built in the USA. Therefore, I believe Gary misspoke when he answered the question and the FS stamp frames were made in the Orient. So the conclusion, is there a true definite answer here? Well, yes, to the FS meaning freestyle, as does it hold more value or is it more desirable to own and collect? Well, that's up to the individual. Personally, I've had seven PFTs of which only one is stamped FS, my 1989, even my 1988 Pro Freestyle Tour T model Survivor isn't stamped FS, and that's the top of the line model. My eighth GT, the Aggressor, is stamped A. So that makes, what, two and eight with a model abbreviation? It doesn't matter, they're just bikes. Build them, enjoy them for what they are, a portal to your heart, which was for a better time, which was less complex. Just be happy. They're not fake clones or knockoffs. And that's it for this video. That wraps it up. Remember, like, subscribe, and get back to those builds. And as always, tomorrow is not guaranteed.